So ultimately I'm going to erase this a little bit and I'm going to give a couple of thoughts as to how I would structure some of the layouts for these specific plants. So ultimately you have two sides. You have usually the plant floor operations. This is gonna be more of your IT side. This is gonna be your servers, maybe some computers. And ultimately that's the plant side and it's going to be isolated by IT. So the plant, like I said, maybe there's a server, maybe there's gonna be some office laptops. Again, that's going to be a conversation for the IT team. There's going to be large switches, again, depending on how many you need it's going to depend entirely on the workers, but you have a server and this ultimately goes out to the internet and I'm going to just draw that as a wide area network or one. So that's going to be your operations from a plant standpoint. Here you have the OT network, right? So again, you have specific machines and each one of these machines is going to be part of a line. So I'm just drawing large boxes in my world, a lot of these machines are going to contain at the very least a PLC and an HMI. And they're also going to contain, like I've mentioned a couple of times, servo drives or VFDs or point IO blocks that communicate over ethernet. They can have some safety. So long story short, there's going to be multiple devices per machine that need to be connected onto a network. And so every single machine is going to have a number of devices that can communicate over the network but ultimately the question should be, do those devices need to communicate with anything else outside of that machine? And if the answer is no, it is usually easier to create a switch architecture that will communicate between all of those devices and the PLC and HMI. So I'm drawing a little bit small here, but ultimately every, every unit is going to have a PLC and an HMI to which all of those components need to communicate. And so here per machine, you have a PLC and an HMI that also can talk to the outside world. So here I'm going to have a larger switch, which can then consolidate the entire line. So again, this is going to have a PLC, an HMI, PLC, HMI. And typically I like to assign VLANs. Again, this depends on how many devices you have per line. You can certainly get away with a single VLINE if it's a small enough operation, but ultimately you will have switches across your production line. 